Hello class, today we are going to talk about the angle bisector theorem. Now it was kind of disappointing to me to see how few of you got this done or even attempted it, because let me show you how simple it is to find these problems, or to find this theorem. So I've gone on to Google, and I'm literally going to type in angle bisector theorem. And literally, the first thing I get is this is all the information you need to solve these problems. So I will do a couple of examples, but this is literally all you need. So angle bisector theorem. If a ray, that would be this ray right here, that ray right there, if a ray bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite side of the triangle, that's this side here, into segments that are proportional to the two other sides. In other words, most importantly, A over C equals B over D, or vice versa. Remember, all of these proportions can go the other way. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of problems on Khan Academy itself. There we go. Okay, so it says that angle DAC, that's this angle right here, is congruent to angle BAD, that's this angle right here, so those are congruent, which means we've got the angle bisector theorem. So what does the theorem say to do? Well, we're looking for, it keeps using a question mark, we're gonna put an X there. We're looking for X, the bisector theorem says that in these two triangles, the proportions of their sides are going to be equal, just like with similar triangles. So we can really jump directly to the end and say that 2 over 5.9, that's 2 over 5.9, and x, x over 8.1. As you can see, I did the small side over the big side. And those two proportions should be equal. And now we're back to cross multiplying. 5.9 times x is 5.9x, 2 times 8.1 is 16.2. Divide both sides by 5.9. Grabbing my calculator, 16.2 divided by 5.9 is 2.745. Now it says to round to one decimal place, so we're going to say that x equals 2.74576, but since we're rounding to one decimal place, we're going to say that x is approximately equal to 2.7. All right. So again, it's just another proportion setup problem. The main reason I assigned this is not because the angle bisector theorem is going to be super, super important, but because I want you to get practice solving these proportions. So we're going to copy one more of these. So we said x is 2.7. Very nice. So here was example one. Here's example two. OK? So again, go ahead and pause the video for a moment and see what you can do with this on your own, please. Um, this is our first day of class, so I am trying to start things off kind of slow, but I do want you to go ahead and hit that pause button, grab a piece of paper, see if you can solve for the question mark, which is side CD. Ready, set, go.
Now, I'm sure you all went ahead and paused the video and, and did the thing, I'm sure. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the same exact thing. By the angle bisector theorem, we can say that, for example, x over 5.9, that's x over 5.9, equals 2.8 over 8.1. So again, we went this way, but we could have gone the other way. You could have done 5.9 over x and 2.8 over, or 8.1 over 2.8. That would have worked just as well. Now we're back to cross multiplying. Let's see. 8.1x equals uh, 5.9 times 2.8. Let's see, 5.9 times 2.8 is 16.52. Divide both sides by 8.1. We're going to get a little bit more than 2. Divided by 8.1, we get 2.039. Now, again, we're rounding to two decimal points, so we're going to say x is approximately equal to 2.0. Let's see if that's the right answer. It is. That's really literally all there is to the angle bisector theorem. Um, so go ahead and when you are done with this video, go ahead and click on the angle bisector theorem homework. I will put a link to that homework in the description of this video so that you don't even have to go out into Khan Academy and search for it. Give it a shot. Shouldn't take you more than a few minutes. If you make any mistakes, if you have any questions, I should be online at 4 o'clock p.m. today, live here on YouTube to take your questions. Until then, stay safe and class dismissed.